All right, hi guys, it's James, this is my friend Jeremy, and uh, we're gonna, like I promised, it took a little while, but we're gonna film some technique for you. Uh, so hopefully this stuff you can practice and it'll, it'll help you out. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna go over is a technical stand-up. It's something we do as part of our warm-ups pretty much every class, because it, uh, it's, it's good off a break fall to practice, and it's an excellent defensive strategy. Uh, your technical stand-up, it's also known as combat base, or standing up in base and it's it's the primary defensive technique when you're on the ground so this can be applied to a combative situation where there's weapons or it could be applied to a street fight situation whether there's one or more opponent and it can also be used uh, just training grappling so like we do when we're rolling you can use the technical stand up quite a bit to escape bad positions and get some takedowns yourself so first I'll go over the technical stand-up and what you have to do to get it. I'll just go off the break fall first. So for some reason or another, I get taken down, pushed down. So now I'm on my back and I have to get up. All right, like I said, this could be used for a combative situation or a street fighting self-defense situation. There could be one guy, there could be many guys, but it's all gonna be the same. My primary instinct has to be to protect my head. So that's where my heads are gonna go first. Next thing I have to do is get up. So I'm gonna get up, protecting my head. Like you see here, Jeremy's here in front of me, right? So this hand that's protecting my head is also gonna create space. All right, so here I can use that hand to create space. And you see my knee and my elbow are connected. One leg stays on the ground. The leg that's on the ground is also gonna be used to create space. I can use it to kick and keep space like this. And you see behind me, my other arm is a frame. It's straight, my elbow's locked into my shoulder, so I cannot be pushed backwards. There's nothing he can do now to push me back onto my back. This frame behind me is gonna help me out. So the hand that's defending the face can also be used to push away, and what I'm gonna do is take this blocking leg and shoot it behind me, and get up. Now I can get away or re-engage, assess the situation. Okay, so again, from the other side, First thing I do is get up, knee goes to elbow. This hand is thinking about protecting my face. Priority number one, protect my head. I can look around from here, I can see how many guys there are, if somebody's gonna come and kick me, I can kind of block my head. It's the first priority. Okay, I have this frame behind me as well. This is gonna stop me. If he is bull rushing me and coming at me, it's gonna help me push away and keep distance. And the same with this fire leg, it can be used to help me out. Once I get it, an ample opportunity, I'm going to shoot that leg out behind me and get up. Notice that at all times I have control over myself and my frames and the space between myself and my opponent. So like you see, Jeremy's up and rough, he can be throwing, trying to punch me, I can be blocking them, get up and get away from the situation. So to use this in a grappling sense, we can do it from the guard, from the half guard, from side control, from anywhere, in conjunction with our bridge and our strip to create the space. We get to combat base or the technical stand up, and we get up and we can control the situation. So, from my closed guard, here in the closed guard, I'm going to uh, control the space here between me and Jeremy. First, both frames, plant my feet, build that frame. Now I have heavy frames. If he's driving into me, it's okay. I have a frame. All the force is going into the floor. And now if I want to, it's an option for me to swing that leg out, get up and leave the situation. So from the other side, I create the frames, build my own frame behind me. Now if he keeps driving forward, there's nothing he can do. I can choose to get up and leave the situation. So the drill that you'll be doing to get up is from a down position, you can fall, do your break falls, proper break falls. And then I want you to connect your knee and your elbow, blocking hand, blocking foot, and very important, the frame behind you, like so. So you can block, defend, block, defend, shoot the leg out behind you, and get up. 